Greetings from Amsterdam. It's an absolutely beautiful day in this city and it feels so good to once again be traveling abroad. One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to travel to a foreign country, so uh, nailed it. The reason why I came to this city was to run the Amsterdam Marathon and that went pretty well, which subsequently was another of my New Year's resolutions to run a marathon, so uh, check another box. With the race out of the way, I can fully relax and take advantage of this wonderful city, the culinary scene, the sights. Oh, there's so much to see here in Amsterdam and so far I'm loving it. And I can't wait to see what this day brings, but first things first, I gotta handle some important stuff. I gotta get coffee. Well, that hit the spot. I got a double espresso, which was awesome, and a croissant, it was good. Now that I'm fueled and caffeinated, it's time to do some exploring. I'm off to the Rembrandt House and Museum. Let's go. So I found the Rembrandt House and Museum, and honestly, I'm pretty surprised with just how fast I was able to find it. You see, being abroad, I don't have that luxury of being able to quickly pull out my phone, looking up a place on Google Maps. I do not have that ability unless I have Wi-Fi. I took some screenshots of maps earlier, but they're not that good. And I can easily get turned around here and distracted because everything is so beautiful and it's just one photo opportunity after another. Yeah, so I'm pretty shocked I actually got here this quickly. So without any further delay, let's head to the museum. Unlike a lot of artists who find acclaim and glory only after their death, Rembrandt was a success during his lifetime which allowed him to purchase a large and opulent home in Amsterdam. He lived and painted in his house for almost 20 years and even produced some of his most noteworthy work such as the masterpiece, The Night Watch. As a fan of art, exploring Rembrandt's home was a fantastic experience. I learned a great deal more about the artist but also how Dutch life was like back in the 17th century. In addition, I also enjoyed the current exhibits of Rembrandt's etchings and prints from other artists. All in all, the Rembrandt House Museum is certainly a must visit. I just finished exploring the Rembrandt House. That was really neat. To be able to go through the rooms that Rembrandt lived and worked in, one of the most famous artists in history. That was a cool experience. But now, I wanna experience some lunch. Let's find some food. Big surprise, I've become distracted and I've found myself in this market. I'm gonna check it out, perhaps I can find a souvenir. That's uh, a little creepy. So that was a pretty cool market. I mean, there was a good mix between like antiques and old stuff and kind of touristy stuff that I'm not really interested in, clothing, uh, odds and ends. It was neat to look through. I ended up getting this old keychain of this uh, Dutch coffee brand that I've never heard of, but it looked pretty cool. It was only a Euro and I got a souvenir, so I'm feeling good about that. But anyways, I really need to get lunch now. I mean, if I don't have a calorie in me soon, I'm gonna pass out imminently. Behind me is the location of Fibo, a chain of automats here in Amsterdam. It's super simple, all the food's pre-made behind these sort of cabinets, and what you do is you take some change, you put the exact amount in, the cabinet opens up, and you eat your food. In terms of fast food, it doesn't get much faster than that, which is like the perfect thing for me right now. 
Anyways, let's get some lunch. Alright, first thing we got is this sort of like a pastry thing filled with cheese. Uh, sounds good. Mm, that's pretty good. It's like a cheese stick, but uh, rectangle shaped. That was really good. Pure comfort food and so satisfying after not having eaten for like seemingly ever. Anyways, round two. Okay, so I got this thing called the Stocky Croquette. Yeah, I forget the pronunciation. I'm terrible at that. But looks good. And it's supposed to be filled with like beef and like a ragu and spices. That's yeah, tasty. Once again, solid comfort food. It's a pleasant kind of uh, spice mixture. Yeah, I like it. And the crispy outside, can't go wrong. This is solid. So I was planning to get something else from Fibo, but I literally had 245 left in change, which I just needed five cents more and I could have gotten something. And I wasn't gonna like, you know, exchange money for coins with for that little, you know? So I just decided I'll go get some more food from somewhere else. And along the way I saw Dunkin' Donuts and it's getting late and I need my coffee, so I'm having a, a mid-lunch coffee break. I know, Dunkin' Donuts. You come to Amsterdam and go to Dunkin' Donuts, what the hell? But hear me out, Dunkin' Donuts here is way better than in the US. They've got stuff that you haven't seen, they've got macaroons, and they've got different coffee drinks, so yeah, don't sleep on Dunkin' Donuts, it's not bad. So I got a Cortado, this is definitely something they don't now have back in the States. And it's solid. I mean, it's not the best Cortado, though, but it's decent and fulfills my caffeine need. Now let's try the uh, cinnamon cake donut here. It looks, looks good. Definitely looks different than the traditional Dunkin' Donuts, but uh, eh. mm. That is nice. Sweet, cinnamon, cinnamon. Great cinnamon flavor, that's it. Mm. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. It's better than what you expect from Dunkin' Donuts, that's for sure. Well, that hit the spot. Now it's time to find some more uh, savory food. So I made a big journey to this fry shop. It's literally right across the street from Dunkin' Donuts. I thought, you know, since I'm getting kind of just snacks at like Fibo, I should continue that trend and just have like a bigger dinner. So I got a medium fry with truffle mayo and looks good. All right, good stuff. Yeah, they're pretty solid. They got a good texture, a bit of crunch, but also the nice fluffy center, nicely salted, and truffle mayo is a good topping. Well, that was a healthy and well-balanced lunch. Anyways, it was good, and I'm off to damn square. This is Dam Square, a beautiful wide open space right in the middle of Amsterdam. Now I've already been here at least a couple times before during my few days here in the city, but this is the first time that I've been here that it isn't rainy or I'm on my way to somewhere else. This is the first time I can really appreciate the immensity and beauty of this area in Amsterdam. So 
So I don't really have a plan right now. I've just been kind of wandering these streets, exploring, seeing the sights, and enjoying myself. I went to this cheese shop. The Netherlands is very famous for their cheese. And the shop had free samples, which was awesome. They had some really odd ones. They had this uh, goat lavender cheese. Never had that before. It has this kind of odd purple color. Kind of looks like soap, but it was uh, it was all right. Anyways, I'm just gonna continue wandering about, exploring until I get hungry for dinner because I kind of want to turn in early tonight. I got a lot of planning to do, and tomorrow is a big, big day. There are some pretty bustling areas in Amsterdam, but it's so neat to turn a corner and come on a street like this that's so quiet and picturesque. It's just beautiful. Oh look, I'm making a friend. Hello, friend. Hi. Rejected. Just look at this. Look how damn beautiful this is. Wow. It literally seems like every single street or every corner I turn, there's one stunning sight after another. This is truly a gorgeous city. You know, when people think of Amsterdam, some of the more seedier elements come to mind, but that's just one aspect of the city. There is truly so much here. The beauty is just unparalleled. I am really just enjoying soaking this atmosphere in. And truth be told, some of those uh, seedier sides are fun too, but are not YouTube appropriate. So I've heard good things about these two Thai restaurants here, but it looks like there's quite a line for each of them, and I really don't have time to wait. For me, there are travel days that I put far more emphasis on the food that I have. Today is not one of those days. Today is kind of like more of a loose, relaxing, not much of a plan, but to enjoy myself. Certain restaurants you just have to plan to go to, otherwise you're gonna be waiting. And I don't have time for that today, so I'm just gonna save my money, go someplace cheap and quick, and use that money that I saved on a more exciting culinary adventure in the future. Samantha's place called a walk-in. It's kind of like walk to walk if you've ever been there. It's pretty good. I got the number six on the menu. It's it's solid, enjoyable. So it was a good dinner. Simple, solid, hit the spot. But that will do it for me today. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. I've got a lot of planning to do. I wanna go on a day trip tomorrow and I'm not exactly sure where. That's why I have a lot of planning to do. Anyways, today was simply awesome. I love Amsterdam. The weather was phenomenal. The sights I saw were amazing. I saw Rembrandt's house where he worked and created timeless masterpieces. That was amazing. I had some good food, good espresso, and yeah, today was awesome.